But first, a store that might suit you to a T. Regular riders of the T will love this new space age version of a Charlie car. It's a wearable ticket to ride in the form of a ring. Called sesame rings, as in open sesame, you just fist bump the turnstile and you're in. They were designed by some students at MIT and they basically worked with the T, got the information that is the RFID chip that's in a Charlie card. They were able to reformat that into a ring and they sell them at multiple sizes. One place to get these rings is Ward Maps in North Cambridge, also home to the MBTA's official gift store. Here you can find hundreds of MBTA souvenirs, some of them made by the two brothers who run the program, Stephen and Brian Boucher. They stock an incredible array of tea tchotchkes, from cups to t-shirts, station signs to coffee coasters. What kind of reaction do you get from people when they come in here? The more typical reaction is, this is cool. A lot of it's customizable, so that gets people even more excited because we'll make something special for you. We'll make you a mug or a coaster with your station. In their Somerville warehouse, open to the public on Fridays, you can even purchase real tea signs scavenged from stations while closed for makeovers. Why do you think Boston's tea has such a cult following? I mean, history is a big part of it. And it's the first subway in America. 1897 is when that opens up. The public transit history goes way back beyond that, and we're still writing that history today. And Bostonians, it's a big, small town. We love our stuff. Customers run the gamut, from train buffs to ex-Bostonians living in other cities, to visiting tourists from around the globe. Just this Christmas, I had a couple email me from Scotland. They're coming in. They wanted to make sure we were open, and we made sure that we got them some MBTA products to take back to Scotland. Who knew that the tea even had a gift store, let alone had a thriving cottage industry going? It doesn't shock the tea's assistant GM of marketing, Rose Yates, one bit. So I'm a long-term Bostonian born and raised, so I too love my tea. We always say that the tea is sort of like the heartbeat of Boston. You really can't grow up here or come live here without really having the tea be a part of your life. So I'm, I'm not surprised.